okay so before working on amin i need to fix these two problems when i start working i kind of slide on the ground for the first few moments so i think i should increase this one let's try point one right I think that's fine but this this transition needs some work okay the first thing I need to do is in order to implement the aim down sight I need to define uh, some UI element the reticle in the HUD let's create a simple reticle I'll choose the size 256 by 256 and the background should be transparent let's add let's draw a circle like this okay let's set some guides Right now I'm going to do something like this so let's draw a line can we just Shall we just copy paste? Okay, I'll fill this with white. I'll change the background to black. I'm gonna make it transparent anyway oh wait where is the line All right this one I don't need to feel it's just a line what is this let's draw a new line it should be filled with white like this okay Alright, finally, let's add a small dot here. Oh, that would be good enough. It's not perfect, but that would be good enough. Alright, mm. I'll save this one as a PNG. Let's call it critical
and I'll create a new folder add no UI and drag and drop that reticle here okay this is the reticle it has some red outline but ah uh, yeah it does has red outline that's all right no that's not all right Can I get rid of that? Okay. I'll save this one again as the reticle. And let's re import. Right. Now the red part is gone. Okay. The next thing is I need to define. under UI as the UI all right it's here there is a slider here I didn't see that okay we have widget I'll call it mm -hmm. Radical WTG Radical Widget Radical. Okay, and let's open it. Can I drag and drop this? Yeah, it seems I can. I'll set the size to hundred and hundred. And the anchors to like this and alignment. Wait, where's the pivot? Right here, I'll change this back to zero, zero. And the pivot is this one should be zero zero. All right. Mm -mm. What's the pivot? Okay, I said the pivot to zero zero. This should this be point five point five? Right, this is 0.5.5 and the alignment to 0.5.5 and position X is 0, position Y is 0, anchor is like this. Okay, so this is my reticle. I'll call this reticle and now we need a HUD. So interface is the hard let's create blueprint and hard let's select this one I'll call it mm -mm -mm. shooter hard No hard shoulder that way it's better okay let's open it and in the begin play let's create widget and the class is widget radical and mm -hmm, on in player is 
get player controller and I wouldn't add this to the viewport yet I'll promote this one to a variable like this I'll call it WDG reticle compile now in this HUD in the CH player shall we go to class input settings I'm going to define right click as an action toggle aim now let's call it aim yeah toggle aim is better and the key is mouse button to Oh, right mouse button okay now in the player mm, I'll define a new event graph I'll call it UI no actually that's not really about UI so I'll put it under basic input toggle a input action so when I press it, I need to get HUD. Oh, get player controller. Get HUD. And then here, I need to call some function to toggle reticle, but I don't have a such function yet. So, I'll define a new anime blueprint interface. I'll call it PPI UI. This function is toggle reticle. And an input enable. all right so now in this in my heart i'll implement that bpi ui and um, here yeah toggle radical so let's do a branch if this is true I'll add to viewport I'll add this to viewport if this is false I'll remove from parent right now I should be able to call that function toggle reticle message mm -mm. yeah let's do it like this I will enable here and I'll disable This when I release the toggle aim button mm, no not done yet now we have to define the HUD I'll define HUD as HUD shooter and let's test so when I press the right mouse button I should see a reticle and when I release it, it should go. And yeah, it happens as expected. You can see. It's like that. Alright.
okay so I'll stop this episode at this point and yeah in the next episode I'll do the part where when I press right click this character should turn to that direction and also my camera should move to a position like this a position like this so that player can clearly see what he is aiming at and okay that's all for today if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link could be in the description below and also please uh, feel free to check out my other project the unreal open world series and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye